Hello, hello, I'm Benjamin Cello. Come on in, my very special friend. There's Lolly Popular and her cheerful chums, Professor Wordsworth and his hungry bookworms. There's Cowboy Roy and the animals too. We're so happy to be friends with you. Friends, welcome. I have something special to show you. This is my tea trolley, but today I'm using it for gardening. We have a visitor coming over, Annie Appleseed. She is a master at playing the violin and planting things. She's going to tell us all about the parable of the sower and the secret of the seeds. I bet that's her right now. Annie Appleseed! Benjamin Cello! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Say hello to my friends! Hi, everybody! Wow, that's a big bag of seeds you have. I brought my big bag of wildflower seeds today. You know you can't have too many. That's right. I have everything ready. The soil, the seeds, and the rocks. This is such a beautiful setup, Benjamin Cello. We can't wait for you to share with us about the parable of the sower. It's one of my favorite stories. You know, I've always found seeds to be so mysterious. Mm. You know, a seed is like a little mini miracle. Inside every seed is an embryo. And the embryo grows a root and then the root grows a stem, and then the stem grows leaves, and then finally, it blooms a beautiful blossom. Wow. It's a miracle. It is a miracle. Well, our Lord Jesus had a lot to tell us about seeds and soils, didn't he, Annie Appleseed? He did. He told us in the parable of the sower that we, as Christians, are supposed to plant seeds of faith in the hearts of people. Hmm. And every heart is like a different kind of soil. Uh -huh. Some people have very hard hearts, like this. Hard like concrete, like a parking lot. Hmm. You know what happens in a parking lot? Nothing. You just stop. <laughs> and that's what happens in a person's heart. Uh -huh. You know, you drop a seed down and it just sits right on the top. And those mean black birds, they swoop down and they gobble up the seeds before they can even take root. Hmm. That's sad. Other people, they've got rocks in their soil. And you know what happens? The roots literally can't grow. Huh. So if you have rocky soil, you have no roots. And when the heat of the sun barrels down on that seed, those little sprouts, they just wither right up before they can even grow into anything. Mm, too many rocks, no roots. I'll remember that. Look right here, Benjamin Cello. Oh, I see. You have a big thorn there. Mm. And it's Watch out. Sharp. Ooh. Ooh. Do you see this thorn? This thorn is like the cares of life. Mm. And sometimes there's a lot of pain too. And people hold on to their pain and hold on to their cares. And those thorns, they grow and grow and grow in the soil of our heart and mm. they choke out the seeds of faith. Mm. That's maybe the saddest to me. Mm -hmm. Can you pop it back in my hat? Absolutely. But there's a fourth kind of soil, isn't there, any apple seed? Yep. We get down to business. This is the beautiful, soft soil. Mm. And when a person has soft, soft soil in their heart that's ready to receive the seeds of faith, then when it's watered with God's love and God's word, then it grows, grows into beautiful blossoms. Mm. And they reap a harvest. You know, first, they look something like this. <gasps> Isn't that beautiful? These are brand new wildflowers just shooting up. And then, over time, 
They blossom. Woohoo! It's a flower. <laughs> oh, that makes me happy. I just love yellow. Hmm. But you know, Annie Appleseed, there's a reason it's called the parable of the sower. Because it's not about knowing what kind of heart a person has. It's not up to us to know whether a heart is hard. Or rocky. Or thorny. Or soft, good soil. Our job is to sow the seeds of faith. That's right. The job of every sower is to plow and sow. Prepare the soil and plant the seeds. In every heart that shattered, a loving hand must scatter the seeds that glow with heavenly hope. The prayers that plant a faith that grows. I'm filling up my pocket full, my pocket full of seeds. I'll plant the love of God down deep. In every heart I meet, thirtyfold, sixtyfold, a hundredfold indeed. I'm just a humble sower with a pocket full, a pocket full of seeds. So get up every morning with a single mind to plant good news in every life. Plow up the fallow soil, the love is worth the toil. So don't lose heart, my faithful friend. The harvest bounty will not end. I'm filling up my pocket full, my pocket full of seeds. I'll plant the love of God down deep. In every heart I meet, thirtyfold, sixtyfold, a hundredfold indeed. I'm just a humble sower with a pocket full, a pocket full of seeds. I'm filling up my pocket full, my pocket full of seeds. I'll plant the love of God down deep. In every heart I meet, thirtyfold, sixtyfold, a hundredfold indeed. I'm just a humble sower with a pocket full, a pocket full of seeds, a pocket full. Guess what? You got an idea? I do. How about we go to Cowboy Roy's big old barn and share our seeds with him? I bet he could plant all of my wildflower seeds in his beautiful meadow. I bet we could also make some music. Woohoo! Ho down, here we come. I'll get my cello. We'll go through the brown door to the land of the baptized imagination, the big old barn. to sing the right notes, old friend. Oh, dear. I fear I get a bit off beat sometimes, Cowboy Roy. I just want to crow. <laughs> you have my sympathy, Gregory Peck. Sometimes when I think of God's love for me, I am overcome with praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Did that sound a little too Cocky? Don't worry, Gregory Peck. You were created to grow. <laughs> Roosters are supposed to wake up the world. Cock-a-doodle-doo! Whoa! Hey, hello, everyone. Annie Appleseed. 
see you. It is Cowboy so good to see Roy. you. How are you? I'm doing great. Hello, Euphoria. Hello. And little Lampkin. <laughs> Salutations, Don Quixote. Hello, Benjamin Cello. And how are you, Gregory Peck? I'm in Peck Peck Peckable. <laughs> Howdy, Cowboy Roy. Oh, how to do there? make some music today. Hey, Cowboy Roy, do you think you could find me an old-timey fiddle in your barrel full of wonders? Much obliged, Danny Appleseed. Let me look you under here and see what I got for you. Let me take this lid off, put it yonder. Oh, I got all kinds of things in here. I, I know what I'll get you. My lanta, let me see. I've got a mandolin and a dobro and a second mandolin. You never know. <laughs> I know. I'll get you one of my various straps. I've always wanted to play a various strap. <laughs> oh my goodness. We got a gift for you. We sure do. I brought you a woo! A whole bag full of wildflower seeds. Oh, oh that yes. is mighty nice of you. That is mighty nice indeed. Just take a look inside there. Woo-wee! Look at all them seeds in there, Amy Apple Seed. That is mighty nice of you indeed. Well, I'm going to put this right up here. And, oh, that's going to be good right just there. All right. We thought you might like to plant them in your beautiful meadow. Oh, that meadow is the perfect place for sowing wildflower seeds. Seeds? Oh, dear. Stay calm, Gregory. I think the Lord is pleased when we plant seeds. Especially when the soil is soft with spring rain. Annie Appleseed and I were just talking about soils. Do you all remember the parable of the sower? A most profound parable. The story of the sower prods me to check the condition of my uh, heart. Yep, hearts like soil. Some are hard, some are full of rocks. Others get choked up with big old thorns. That's why at the big old barn, Plow up the soil real good and churn up any rocks or thorns. That way, the seeds grow into great big sturdy roots and grow beautiful blossoms. Remember those awful birds who come and peck the seeds of truth? <gasps> Look at them, Ma! Hey, Ooh. Gregory! Ooh. Don't eat the Ooh. seeds! No, cockadoodle, don't! Cockadoodle, don't! The seeds won't grow if you eat them, Gregory Peck. Oh, Ma! I'm sorry. I just love seeds. You must practice self-control, Gregory Peck. Oh, I shall. I shall. Amen. 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 Yep. Let's face it, friends. Not all the good seeds we sell are going to find their roots in the good soil. But that don't matter. Those of us who truly believe are called to be faithful sowers. We're the ones who are called to be faithful sowers of the seed. But God is the one who brings in the harvest. Isn't that good news? We plow the fields and scatter the good seed on the land but it is fed and watered by God's almighty hand he sends the snow in winter the warmth to swell the grain the breezes and the She rain. Oh, good gifts around us are sent from heaven above. Then thank the Lord. Oh, thank the Lord for all His love. For all His love.
of all things near and far. He paints the wayside flower. He lights the evening star. The winds and waves obey him. By him the birds are fed. Much more to us, his children, he gives our daily bread. All good gifts around us are sent from heaven above. And thank the Lord. Oh, Sadly, I think it's time for us to go. Oh, oh no. no! Cowboy Roy, hold on to this for me. Keep her safe. I can't wait to make music with you again. Goodbye, Goodbye. everyone. Goodbye, Goodbye Grandpa Roy. Goodbye, Cowboy Roy. Goodbye, Goodbye, Roy. Goodbye Don Quixote. Don't be a stranger. Little <laughs> Farewell, Euphoria. We'll come back to see the meadow. Oh, Bringing in the sheaves, bum, bum, bum. bringing in the sheaves, bum, bum, bum. we shall come rejoicing, bringing in the sheaves. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> what a great day. Woohoo, Benjamin Cello. Wasn't this fun? It was. Sometime, we have to come back to the big old barn and see his beautiful meadow of wildflowers. As beautiful as the seeds of faith. That's right. You'll have to come with us. Thank you for teaching us about the parable of the sower, Annie Appleseed. It was my pleasure, Benjamin. <laughs> Woohoo, friends! You keep planting those seeds of faith now. Goodbye! Bye. That was fun, wasn't it? <sighs> I've enjoyed our time together. Always remember to be a sower of good seed, speaking the truth in love. If we keep our own hearts soft and open like the good soil, then the seeds of God's truth will bear fruit in our own lives. Until next time. Friends have the best time together And no matter the weather Friends are friends for forever It's goodbye for now, till we meet again, remember God loves you, and so do I, and so do I, my friend. Pocket full of seeds, a pocket full of 